Coming live from the command center of the JW Solar USA in Minnesota. Guys, these are the batteries. The Life Pure 4s, they are now almost in business. So we're about to ready to do the big thing. You guys, suppose, <laughs> I'll let you guys know for the first time. So I used the Nissan Leaf Boss Bars and decided to go about this. And the other set, I cut them up just, you can see. I don't have a grinder to grind all this thing down. You can see all the way. And these are the buses. Here's the positive all the way. Negative here, positive, negative here. So it's a 12, 24 volt module here. I can just able to take this guy off and started to cross these guys individually here to make it a 24 volt pack, the one old pack. So I'm going to use it this way because first time ever, my, maybe we can try to use a BMS on this one. So I end up buying a cheap one. No deli. No, no deli. I'm not against that, but everybody talking about it. So we say, oh, maybe it's a deli because it's a cheap one. No, so I decided to go with this. And I'm going to show you the... Um, the... Um, am I going to call it the boss uh, sorry the BMS so it's a 100 amp I can able to wire it in um, up to 100 amp or 60 amp from 60 amp is pulling from the same wire and charging on the same wire okay what, what I mean by pulling like um, the load so if I go into um, the uh, um, the other lead, then I can able to do 100 amp, but it's too small. I don't think I want to go through all that process. So, guys, this is what it is. So, I'm going to use tie this entire bank into a 12 volt system. Now, it's a 12 volt here, it's a 12 volt here. So, I'll end up to do the BMSs here on the positive leads, push the positive and positive on the leads right there, and this one here. So, that get up uh, tied for the um the 4s configuration so all the um you can see on the bms is negative once i can able to do the same time so so i can able to put a string on the positive going to the negative point so you know how you wire the bms and we can able to tie this battery here the positive here to the positive, negative to the negative. So it becomes one giant battery, one giant battery. So we can use one BMS to do the job. Okay. So what I have here, hold on. Dun, 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 dun. Look at that. <laughs> it's the smallest BMS I ever seen. Maybe I'm just not looking for BMS. So that maybe that's why. But it's the smallest BMS I've seen. The only thing that doesn't come with the leads, it gives you the opportunity to go about it and um, charge uh, to use your own wires to go about it. Stay tuned, like and subscribe. So let me make myself clear what I said to go about it is by wiring your BMSs, your BMS, you have the uh, leads right here or the terminals. I can able to wire this one that's going to be the wires going to the batteries and this one is going to connect right here i don't know if you've seen this see all my fingernails are all scruffy now because of being cut into these sharp ends of the battery here so i've been working hard today to put this battery in place so you can tell this is the b1 okay here let me flip this i don't know if you can see on the camera so B minus right here. So I can use one of these terminals here. B minus. And you see B1, B2, B3, and B4 right here. That's the B plus. I don't know if you can pick that one up. Who can tell me what kind of BMS is this? Make a guess. Okay? Make a guess. There's a heat sink. And there he goes. That's the P on the other side here. This is what I was talking about earlier. 
the P minus and the C so you can able to charge from this side you can able to draw if you put on the C here the charging and you can connect the other one here on the P the other wire this gives you the 100 amp so you have two leads here two lead, leads that goes to the load the B minus right here goes to the battery minus and this one goes to the terminals here each of these terminals goes to the positive 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 so that's I'm gonna use the Nissan leaf wires that for the balancers or for the um, BMS that came with a Nissan leaf it has different kind of wires just like a telephone wires or it's like a um, Ethernet cables that's how it looks like so I don't know if I can trust this, so it's a 3.2 cell, and this is what it is, guys. This is what it is. So you can able to. I decided to go with something like this, and uh, you can do um, your wires. It goes right here, and tighten them up right there. And it has a little lights here that's supposed to tell you if it's balancing. Or it's floating charge it does it it gets it shows your indications right here about three lights um four lights it's right here by the uh i don't know it's a little diodes or resistors not the one on the bottom the second the third one is a little one there the camera can just focus so there's a little light there that flashes right here up right top my finger is right there that white one so four of them they give different kind of indications so if you know what kind of bms is this take a guess and we can go about it maybe it will work so we tried a little guy and see how it works if it's gonna work the only thing is not um uh bluetooth uh, capability or Wi-Fi or whatever it is it's not digital you can see you can go with all the lights what it does what it says right here they said almost about when you almost get to float or charge or 75 percent of it then you can see um, you started doing the process so this is what we have guys I'll let you go and we already set up the battery right, right here and it's ready to go should I charge it first or I can throw the balancer or the U. Um, sorry, the BMS first. What do you think? I'm worried about this. How am I gonna place this one? It has some little legs that came with it. Uh, suspenders like in socket boards. That's how it's called. Um, right here. It has a little legs there. So that's why you can tighten up this and use the other guy right there and go through it. This not a screw right here so i would like to get something that this thing is going to be suspended in a way i'm not going to put this thing close to the battery at all because i don't trust that and this thing can generate a lot of heat i don't want to pump even 100 amps into this thing at all i don't think so no because this thing really small i don't know how much i can trust it is that a heat sink here and um it's supposed to able to dissipate the heat but i think i need something that i'm gonna suspend this guy that has like a maybe bushings or something i don't know because if i go through here it's gonna compromise the nut or bolt and nut that goes in here likewise there so that's my greatest worry i was gonna put a heat sink like this underneath here but i'm afraid not to touch any of these in the heat sink to touch any of this and i'm also afraid to use any rubber suspenders or suspensions because it might probably cause uh, heat instead of melting and become so flexible probably it's gonna cause um, smoke or fire i don't want that at all so i don't know what i'm gonna do what my decisions are towards this little guy but uh it seems like it's kind of fun but um to be honest with you, I'm really, 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 really curious. I'm also afraid of this. Okay. So safety is my priority. But uh, 
I don't want safety to become the issue because of BMS and uh, stories. Sometimes they started having on fire or they get so gets you in trouble because of, you know, where they came from. So the job is not that great, but hey, it's better for other people to have these. They said to protect their batteries and that sometimes cause some problems. This is my opinion. Everybody has theirs. So this is what I think. And this is why I was always being afraid to use the BMS. And um, I always get, I have batteries that already have BMS built in them. Which is really exactly configured and calculated for it. And I'm not going to worry about it. Because the BMS is going to die. Because even, even a laptop has a BMS on it. Laptop batteries has a BMS. So all these little things. Um, uh, phone. Like your house phone. They have BMS um, uh, built into the battery on it. So this is a little guy right here. It's a BMS right there. Okay. Take a look. These are the components that came with it. That's it. Just that. It's not that expensive, but um, tell me the name if you know, then we can get from there. It's just for fun. All right. I know I want to see other guys who already use this uh, BMS and see what the reviews are. JW Solo USA. Thanks for watching. Love you guys all. Like and subscribe. Okay, guys, this is the BMS setup here. And um, there we go. The wiring configuration. This is what it is. Okay, this is the setup. With the BMS, and this is what I was talking about. You can use two wires to charge, to load, to battery. This is what I was talking about as well. Let's see times two, the wire here, and the wire right there to charge, to charge or load. Option two, optional, two wires. Like I said, the smallest BMS I've ever seen. There you go. Or you can use the one wire you double here, you can charge and discharge at the same time. This is how it's wired. So I will have up to about uh, 14.6 max and see that can get up to about um, 100 amps for 1260 watts output out power wattage so tell me what you <clears throat> what you think about this BMS what's your options or what are your thoughts are what your thoughts are and we go from there and um, like I said it will be our first BMS right here on the channel. We have some BMS. We, we're going to wire. Okay, we have BMS already built in the batteries. It's, not, it's just going to be the, the first one that we're going to be wiring into the system. Okay. There we go.